Hello, fourth graders. Um, I hope you really, really enjoyed your lesson about physical and behavioral adaptations. Remember, physical adaptations are things about an animal that you can see, like the colors of the stripes on the zebra, or the colors of the stripes on the tiger, or the giraffe's long neck. The behavioral adaptations are things that an animal does, like a bear hibernating or a baby crying. Now this, this is Yoda. Hi Yoda, hi. So a lot of you don't know is that inside animals like your cats and your dogs and your birds have the same adaptations as the wild version. So Yoda, is a tiger Persian cat and he is a descendant from the big large cats that you see on TV and in movies. So tigers, panthers, jaguars, lions, they have the same um, adaptations inside of them as the big cats would and I'm gonna show you some of those. So I'm sure a lot of you have cats at home and you've seen them climbing all over everything on bookshelves, on the back of your uh, sofas. They, some of you might have cat trees that they climb on. And what do they need to climb on those big things? They have, I know honey, they have these big, big claws. I don't know if you can see them because he's very, very furry, but he's got the nice big, big claws. Those claws are an adaptation to help him climb better. And then another adaptation would be the nice long tail. Now, what would a tail be an adaptation for? Well, when they're walking in those high places, they need to be able to balance because a lot of the times they don't have a lot of room. So they use their big long tail for balance. And that's a part of their adaptations as well. Okay, Yoda, just one more thing. Now he has big, big eyes. Okay, see those nice big eyes? Yoda, show him your eyes. There we go. Okay, so cats are very good at doing things at night. It's called nocturnal. Okay, and they use those nice big eyes to be able to see better in the dark. So that is another version of a physical adaptation of a cat. And the last one are these nice big teeth. Wait, come on Yoda. Nice big teeth, show them your teeth. He doesn't want to, but as you know, cats have nice, nice, big pointy teeth and they use that to be able to eat and tear apart their food. In the wild, as you know, most of the big tigers and lions, they eat mostly meat and they need those nice big teeth to be able to tear the food apart. So like I've shown you, the tail, the teeth, the eyes, the claws, all of those things are physical adaptations. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a few questions about a cat's physical adaptations, and I would like you to answer them. If you get confused, do you have any questions, just look back at this video. All of the clues and answers will be on here. Have a great rest of your day, guys. See you later on Zoom.